something like that. I have this new little cord that I was thinking, oh, you know, the iPhone 7. So I think that's what made it overheat. So, but let's go back to that question about settling. Don't try to settle anything out until, because you can sue them too. Like, say if they were violating your rights, what if they charge you more money? That's what your attorney is going to do. They're going to find out if they overcharge you for anything. So I suggest that you go ahead and prepare to sue. Just prepare to sue. Okay, that's something else. Okay, somebody said, where do they start to go ahead and sue? So, I sent them a link like we got the option to sue. But, to each their own, maybe they didn't understand. But, to go ahead and sue, all you have to do is go ahead. I think in, on Facebook, you have the link at the top that says, um, this is for you to actually go ahead and sue. Or you can go ahead and text me too and I can send you the link. Or go to deleteandremove.com. As soon as you go to deleteandremove.com, at the top you will see the link where it says um, sue. We have now have the option to sue. Go ahead and click that. Click that and then you can go ahead and sue that way. Okay, so let me see. They said they did the application. I gotta look at their thing again. Thank you, please look. If I don't have to be, I love you, go. Let's see what happens. Okay, somebody said they do want to go to court. see what happens with your letters um, did you pay the fee for certifying did you pay the fee okay all righty Oh, that's somebody getting a text message about deletions they got on their credit report. Okay, let me see what else. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. Oh, I sent somebody some free letters. feeling nice that day like let me just get these letters you know sometimes people are like so what do I say in the letters you know I don't care if I just just get the letters instead of being you know I'm serious like <laughs> a reason I started charging for the letters because I was like okay let's charge for the letters so that if I wanted to do the certified I'll have what my same certified paying for the system doing different things and I really want to start back being the homeless but I really can't at the scale I'm trying to do, I really can't afford to um, feed them, especially how I am now. You know, like everything has to be organic, everything has to be this. And that. I'm, yeah, I'm very particular about stuff like that. So. so I can't afford to really do it like that. But soon I will be able to. Like I said, thank you. I think I'm gonna start doing this from now on, y'all, because it'll be easier for me to go through the text messages. Okay. Oh, she wanna thank me for doing. I'm doing your blessings. Oh, thank you so much. You know what? Sometimes when I'm having down days, though, because sometimes I think, "Why am I up at four in the morning helping people?" And I'm not. Even. <laughs> They can pay for this. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm dying. Like, sometimes I think like that, like, this is just too much, especially if I'm tired, if I'm up all night. 
and I'm just grinding this out. And I know it's for a bigger purpose. I really feel like it's really for a bigger purpose. Like, I'm so serious with this. Because when I see people finally get a house, they never thought they can get a house. When I see them getting cars, when I see they, you know, the kids getting so much stuff that they wouldn't have got because now you don't have all these crazy bills. It's like, it's it's really good. Like, trust me. Because I remember being alone. No one was helping me with anything. So now I realize it's for a purpose. I don't even think like I'm not getting paid. I'm not. I don't. I don't think about that. It's like okay, I'm gonna focus on me, and this is just my giving. So this is like me giving, giving back my knowledge. Cause I realized too, talking to people, a lot of people they just being beat up so much, or so much stuff happening in their life that it's like they just want to give up. And I remember being there. I remember being there, and it's like listening to like motivational stuff like pull me out of that so i just want to be that for people like you got hope let me fix your credit let's get this together let's sue she can get a check <laughs> now we might get a check now but honestly let's get this together because in a year or two you're gonna be like i should have just been did it i should just been did it so i've been there done that trust me been there done that a few times so that's why i'm here helping um i want you to check mine and tell me what you think i should do do i need to do another application yeah, so let me um, let me text you the link really quickly since you text me. Let me see. I'm going to send you the link. So as soon as you get this link, you're going to get a text messages with the next steps of what you should do. So that's the um, link that you have to fill out for these. Okay, somebody said, oh really? Yes, we have the option to sue now. Let's say, oh, I'm trying to the body help all is. Understand why I'm this many days behind the text messages. I'm gonna do this every night, seriously. So get ready for it. If you text me, no, okay, we're getting on live, go live and answer my text message at night. I may even do videos in the mornings too. Let me know when is the best time for me to make videos. They may not. She okay. She said so. Now that we have the options to, to sue, she said okay. So basically, I mean, no matter how many letters we send out, um, they are not going to delete certain stuff. They may not delete it. Some stuff I'm telling you is fraud, and they won't delete it. It's crazy because it's a computerized system too. Um, they won't delete it. So some stuff, even if it's not yours, they won't delete it. Like, they won't delete it. It's crazy. So that's why I said we should sue. Like, you give them 30 days. How you go and skip? How you, she like, let me figure out what's like. How you doing today? Well, tonight, should I say. I was like, I don't know how to see you on Facebook night over here. But some stuff, honestly, they just not going to try to delete. Whether it's yours or not, they just violating our rights. So in 30 days, listen, this is this is how it works, right? If you're going to talk crap about me, that's what they're doing. If you're going to talk crap about me, tell the whole truth. Tell everything. Make sure it's 100% accurate. Make sure you give all the information. They're not doing that. And then it's like, you lying on me. That's not even me. And then when you say that's not me, show me how it's me. They can't show you, but they won't delete it. They're supposed to show you, like, this is you because of this, this and that. They're not doing that. And then, too, I always see a lot of people, like, especially with Capital One. Capital One really makes me angry. And I want you to hit them where it hurts. Because, listen, Capital One is send you a thing, like, I don't understand your dispute. you asking them to verify this account, validate this account. Verify this actually mine, right? Well, actually, you ask them for verification. You're not asking them to validate the account. You send the validation to the actual company. Say if they send I'll talk about that next because I go on and on. 
So the thing is, too, you send out, you, we send out the dispute letter saying, hey, verify all these counts. If they're mine, you know, okay, they're mine. But if you got to, if, if they're mine, show me the proof. If they're not mine, delete them from my credit report. So the thing is, they'll delete some of those accounts. At least half of your accounts sometimes get deleted, like seriously. Now, if they're not deleting that, then that's a good thing, too, because you can just go ahead and sue. Sue these companies. They have the money for it. They make it money. Trust me. But the thing is, too, those accounts don't even have to be yours. They would not delete them. So if they don't respond to your letters in 30 days, everything is supposed to get deleted. It's supposed to. That's the law. It's a, a federal law. If, if they don't delete them, then they, well, if they don't go ahead and delete if they don't delete everything on your credit reports in the 30 days, then you need to just go ahead and sue. Like, we need to stop playing with them. I used to send out letters, send out a follow-up letter. Hey, you didn't delete it from my credit reports. You know, by law, you're supposed to, nah, nah, nah. and they still won't delete it. So it's like, trust me, y'all. You got to just sue. Like, I don't want to keep playing games with them. That's why I said, I'm going to figure out a way. Like the attorney said, he'll eventually reimburse me. So I'm going to figure out a way to pay so I can just do everybody's credit and just sue. Not, don't come to me unless you sue. We go into court. Like, we suing. So let me see. How do you delete the late payments? You got to just send in dispute letters for the late payments. Sometimes people send out goodwill letters, but that really don't work. The thing about late payments is you want them to show you the proof that it's actually late. Now, if they can't just show the proof, then you need to say, hey, you can't show the proof. I just got to sue you. You got to show me the proof. I need to. What is your number? Um, my number is 414-255-0803. I'm going to put it in here again for you. But with those late payments, you have to, you you got to just send in a letter, but they got to show you the proof how you're actually late. And that may have an inaccurate payment history. But the thing is, too, you can dispute the late payments. Sometimes they dispute the whole account. So watch out if you don't want that account deleted. So that's another thing you got to think about is you're welcome. Um, some stuff they just won't delete whether it's yours or not. That's why. So if they don't delete those accounts, whether it's yours or not, that's the reason why we actually suing. So I need to get my Instagram together, y'all. Facebook always so nice. It's like Instagram. I need to build on my Instagram. It's horrible. Okay, let me see. Um, Um, let's see, we'll do my credit score. She said, um, I don't know what she's talking about. She just signed up for credit report and uh, credit repair, but then she said, I did the IQ. How is it beneficial? My credit reports have updated in three months. Mm -hmm. On what platform? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Um, they give you. So, um, matter of fact, let me talk into my computer. I'm going to talk into my computer and then talk to y'all because it's easier to talk into it. They give you three credit reports and scores every month, period. Awkward, but I got to do it. So, I did the IQ. They give you your three credit reports and they give you three um Three credit scores every month. That's why some people keep the identity IQ. Now, if you're going to sue, you don't have to keep your identity IQ for more than that additional month. So technically, only thing you're paying is the $22.99. Now, if you go ahead and pay for the consultation, then we're going to pay all that for you. So you don't have to worry about it. So the consultation, say if you like, okay, we're going to do everything for me. I don't want to worry about any of this stuff. Just do everything for me. You can just pay the $99. So we're going to pay the $30 melon fee, so you don't have to worry about paying that. And we're going to pay the $22.99 and get your credit report, so you don't have to worry about that. And everything will be done for you. And then you'll be able to talk to me, and I can tell you everything that's going on. But if you want to just go ahead and pay for everything separately, then you have that option, which is say you bought $45, but at the same time, you won't be able to get that one-on-one -on -one too. What's going on my credit reports? How much could I possibly get? What's this? What's that? You can ask me all the questions that you have. And when you sign up, you have that option. It'll give you a text message letting you know, hey, you don't have to do it by yourself. We can help you with that. Okay, let me see. I sent that to her. I did the application again. I gotta look this up. She says she'll pass. Oh, 
oh, one of the um, one of the clients. So she has so many credit cards, and I'm like, you are in debt. Like, you gonna lose your mind? Like, wait till they send you a settlement thing, and maybe think about settling with them, right? And she owed one of her credit cards. She owed like twelve hundred dollars for, it, and then they end up settling with her. I think um, what was her settlement again? I think like $97 for three months. So she settled $300 for the $1,200 she owes. So that was good. Especially um, if you know you want to ever use that credit card again sometimes. Or say if you don't want to actually sue, you don't have any credit cards, you just want to get it over with. And that's that's a good, good deal because you spent $200 on that thing and you're only paying the $97 for three months. So what's that? $291? $291 compared to the $1,200 you spent? That's good. I've seen this. Thank you so much. Y'all always send these kind words. I really appreciate it. Trust me. Because I'm going to be up until about like 1 o'clock in the morning. Then I'm going to wake up at 4 and work. Because I have so many goals. And I'm going to be 28. And I'm panicking. Like, oh my God. I got so much stuff I got to do. Even though I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be 110. I'm going to be an old lady. I'm going to grow to be 110. But still. I want to get so much stuff done. I, I have like so many dreams in my head and I know that this stuff is supposed to happen. Because everything I ever tried to do, I did it. Like when I tell you that, I really did it. Everything I ever tried to do. So that's how I know these things in my head. Because at first, my other, even though what I'm doing now, this is a dirt thing in my head. And I'm like, this is not, I can't do that. Yeah, right. People are not going to be able to do stuff like that. And I'm doing it. Because I tried to do it. It's like, okay, I'm going to just try to do it. So I have all these crazy dreams. Not crazy, but amazing dreams. So I got a lot to do. So, but getting these nice, kind words, so knowing I only get three hours of sleep. It's nice. It's nice. Can you call me when you get a chance? Ooh. I can't. Honestly, you guys, I, I'm not gonna lie. I can't. I can't call people unless you do a consultation. I just can't. It's just too much. And so busy. Please schedule a consultation or text me your questions. Because I do a lot. And then I always think about it like this. When I work the job, don't forget to I don't get paid for any of this. So what I'm doing for you guys, I'm helping you guys. And I used to stress, like, I got to help them. I need to stop putting that stress on myself. But when I, well, when I did, when I worked at a normal job, I had, like, a 9 to 5 job. I remember how people used to always be like, I ain't doing that. I don't need to pay for that. And it's not that I'm saying that, but it's that point that I cannot call 100 people in one day. I'm not. I can't. But if you really, like, you know, Rikita, I I appreciate you calling me. I want to help towards the call. Then go ahead and do a consultation. That's just how I look at it now, honestly. Because I remember, I remember, like, I'm not going to do that. I ain't that. It's like, okay, that's fine. But getting that consultation, you'll be able to ask any questions you have. You have and it's, it showed me that you really support. You appreciate what I do. Yeah, think about it, too. I read, like, crazy to educate myself on all, on all this stuff, so... Buying new books and stuff that somebody bought me some books, I'll be happy. Like, can you buy me some books? I'll be so happy. Um, let me see what's going on. What you mean? Oh, you never okay. Listen, so if you sign up for <laughs> he said, Hey, I have an account with Identity IQ, which I pay monthly for the service. How soon? Can you get started to repair my credit as soon as you fill out the application and send me your credit report, sir? Let me see. Let me get, I got to talk into this, y'all. Hey, exclamation point, please look at the links below and build them out, period. 
I will get started on your credit as soon as I get your application, period. It's, it's easier to talk into it. I'm sorry. It's so much easier. <laughs> talking to my laptop. Okay, so when you sign up for delete and remove, sometimes people sign up for the account where, like, say if you have a credit repair company, you want to repair some of your clients' credit, or say if you got a car dealership, you're a realtor, if you just want to repair some of their credit. A lot of people sign up for that website, and they don't actually follow the steps. It's set up like a class, but they don't follow the steps. So I think I may cancel that. It took me a while to put that together, though, but I think I am going to cancel that. Um, somebody said that they actually paid the fee, so I would complete your file and send it over to the lawyers. And like I said, it's going to take like 40 days to send your file over to the lawyers. Um, somebody was talking about how they was trying to get their inquiries deleted. And remember, too, the best thing about sending certified because you get to track for 30 days, y'all. We got to track for 30 days. If they don't respond in 30 days, everything that you're disputing, they have to delete it. They don't delete it. We're still on them. We're still on them. We're not going to play with them. Oh, somebody got 25 items deleted from their credit. That's good. $25,000 less you could have got. But listen, your credit going up. That's the goal. So I'm not going to worry about it like that. Uh, pay out. Pay out. Pay. Wait, what? How much altogether is the sue that I pay? Um, I think she's saying how much money you got to pay out of pocket to sue. It's just thirty dollars. So if you're a current client, you just have to pay the thirty dollars because we already have everything else we need. So yeah. So you have to. Um, <laughs> I can't even talk. So it costs thirty dollars to send out the letters and complete your file to send over to the attorney. To the lawyers. So they can sue. She funny. She sent me a text message. Let me know if you find daddy. She meant any. I'm like, daddy. Okay, wait. She wants to find a mortgage company. Um, they just had a company that you went. Oh, I'm already yawning. Y'all, what time is it? This is shame, shame, shame. It's eleven o'clock. I guess that's cool. I'll be all right. Let me add that so I can find a mortgage company. 
I gotta add a task for myself so I can remember. Find a mortgage company for her. Somebody asked, do they have to upgrade their identity IQ to the twenty one ninety nine and I mean the twenty four ninety nine and twenty nine ninety nine? You can no, you can stay at the twenty one ninety nine. Now remember too, eventually we're gonna go into sue, and eventually too, like you say, you say you're gonna reimburse me for all the money. So eventually, I'm gonna be paying all the fees for the credit reports and all of that. But right now, when I can't afford it, just stay at the twenty one ninety nine. You'll be fine. Um, so no money down. Somebody said I would love to buy a home with no money down. Don't forget to buy a home with no money down. Your credit score has to be over a 620. Oh, oh. Why am I so wobbly? Blah, 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 blah. Phones. Okay. This came in the mail today. Um, they got like a generic message basically telling them about it. A generic message letting them know, hey, this is what happens in a dispute. This is your right. It's not really your right to write, so I'm not going to tell you everything. Uh, please keep this for your record. So if you get anything in the mail, make sure you just keep it in like a folder. And then when I get my money up, <laughs> when I get my money up, I'm going to actually start mailing people folders. Like, put your stuff in here now. I'm mailing it to you. Put your stuff in here now. Uh, extra microphone. Uh oh, look at me knocking down these text messages. I'm proud of myself. What's these reports? Another thing, too, please save your reports for your attorney. Don't send them to me anymore. Not being mean, but like literally sit, put that stuff to the side because I know it's, it's, they're going to delete some items, but I can see that on dating IQ and then they're going to come up with some type of reason we verify these accounts. It's lying. The attorneys will go, they're going to um, be happy to see all that stuff. That's their job. Like they'll look through all of that because I realized a lot of my text messages was files. Like keep that stuff for the attorney. So I'm going to get all the letters together tonight and mailing them tomorrow. So that's going to be one batch. Um, I'm clipping it in for all tonight. Um, somebody got five items deleted from their credit. That's good. Um, so I'm just going through text messages too. If you just popped on. It must be over an hour, you guys. That cat must be in there jumping on my little baby. <laughs> we got a cat. She ain't so much a kitten, but she's still so little. She be jumping on the baby. Somebody said they don't know why they got any IQ is closed. They just paid it. So, only thing I can say is just. Call them. 
look again, make sure. A new client, sign it up. Good morning, I signed up with you for your email and text. So first time I'm going to sit down and I'll wait. I'm to respond to send over to you. Oh, I see what's happening. That's automation for you. My bad. So you're going to get a text message 40 days from the day that your letters are sent out letting you know, hey, these are your results. 40 days. From the date that your letters are sent, I'll let you know that these are your results, period. I'm talking into my computer again. Uh oh, it's ending. No. Okay, let me start back my Instagram. Okay, not yet, I guess. I'm so sorry about that. Why? That's the second time. Um, I'm going to the post office. What's going on? I'm going to go to the post office and see what's going on. It's the same um, zip code, too. I mean, area code. Why did you just send this to somebody? I don't know how that works for Instagram. I'm gonna learn, though. Okay, so somebody was saying that they now that they started doing a credit repair, a lot of their debts are showing up in collections now. And that's because they were probably selling it. They're like, okay, the information is wrong, it's getting deleted. But now what they're doing is they're selling it to another company. And, well, let me, let me say it tired too. But now what they're doing is they're selling it to another company. And when they sell it to the um, company, they're putting it on your credit report as a collection. And then your identity IQ is locked, and what you have, if your identity IQ is locked, that means you have to go to identityiq.com. So you have to go to identityiq.com to open up your account. Period. The accounts that. Are in collection were once old accounts, but they were just recently sold. Period. Yeah, they're in collections were once old accounts. So it's a game that they play, and we gotta play it with them, y'all. We really have to start sewing. But they were just recently sold, so it's a text message.
play hi. Okay, let me see. Somebody, I guess their sister was helping them fill out an application and they messed up. Let me change her name. That lady ain't playing. My sister be on it. I ain't gonna text her no more. <laughs> she is on it. Okay, let me see. I emailed a report I got um, the other day. Yes, I have it. Please keep this for your records. I don't know what's going on here. What does she mean? Um, this is somebody having just regular problems with the credit reports. So make sure that she put. So when y'all sign up for, if y'all fill out an application, make sure y'all put that um, yeah, a lot of information about the IQ on there. If you don't, then there's nothing we can really do now. My assistant, she gonna send the text message that you know, hey, we can't get to our the IQ, everything is incorrect, can you please correct it. Other than that, there's nothing we can really do unless you send us the correct information. Now, if you sign up for a consultation, you don't have to worry about any of that because we're gonna make sure we take care of that. Um, can you tell me how much it's going to cost to have ID deleted for me? So, our credit repair is free. Unless you want to, um, unless you want us to mail your letters certified so that you have the option to sue the companies, period. So, yeah. So our credit repair is still free. Anything you're paying for is your certified letters, and you're also paying for um, your credit reports. But actually, the labor part of it all, we doing all this stuff for you, is free. If you want to send a donation, it's fine. We we'll appreciate it. But you don't have to, though. Remember that. You do not have to. A lot of people are like, it's not free. It is free. I got to pay for my credit reports. Well, you're not serious. <laughs> We're doing this for free for you, so you gotta meet us halfway. You need to do something, get your credit report. Any updates? Um, I'm going to have to look deeper into their file. Somebody sent me some links. I'm going to look at what they're talking about. I know it's like somebody personally, so I just want to let you know. Oh, somebody sent, got, sent back some papers from a collection company saying that they overpaid. Now, the collection company garnished her check, y'all. Do not let them bully y'all. Did you do the bit? No, I didn't do it. I'm going to call him in a minute. Let me text them really quickly, you guys. Uh oh. Any somebody said, "Hey, I've been thinking a lot about buying a home recently. Any suggestions on what I should consider doing before creating a deadline for closing?" So, if you think about buying a home, the suggestion is make sure your credit is up to par. 
Wait, let me say that. Hey, exclamation point. The suggestion is making sure that your credit report are up to par and also making sure that your credit score is over a 620 mark so you have the option to do no money down if you want to, period. So a lot of people don't know too, so you can do no money down, all you have to do is make sure your credit score is over the 620 mark. And like I said, try to sue, because if you sue and get a check, that's money for your down payment. That's money put towards the house. It's like, it's a win-win. Really, it's really a win-win. And then, too, depending on how much money you get back, too, you can probably pay cash for some of the house, depending on where you want to stay and get it fixed up. So it's, it's stuff out there, trust me. And I'm going to start doing a lot of real estate, and you guys see. I do a lot. Start doing, back doing real estate. I'm going to knock on that and knock me down. Please make sure that your credit reports are... So make sure your credit reports are over 620. If I already just, that's what I do. Make sure your credit scores. Credit reports. Credit scores, not credit reports. So credit scores are over a 620 says so you have the options. Okay. There we go. Hey, exclamation point. The best bet is for you to call Tony and ask him to send you another pre-approval letter, period. Ask him if you can get pre-approved for more money, also, period. So for this client, she was already pre-approved before, but the thing is, she never really found the home that she really want. And also, it's been past the 60-day mark. So say if your pre-approval letter ever run out, all you have to do is call her lender and say, hey, can I get pre-approved again? She wants to get pre-approved for one more money. So what she would have to do is actually go ahead and just ask for a higher pre-approval. That's it. My phone is dying, y'all. It's dying. Oh, why I do that? Let me look at them homes so I can show it to them. Schedule showings, period. When are you available to look at these homes, question mark? She sent me three homes that she want me to um, take a look at, so I just told her when she was able to look at them. Your credit report should be the same all across the board. So you have three credit reports. When I'm talking to, I'm texting like I'm talking. <laughs> I need to stop that. <laughs> uh, your credit report should show the same all, all across the board. If something is on your transgender credit report, you should be able to see it on the identity IQ and on credit karma period. It should not be on one system and not on the other, period. So someone was saying about um, an account that they had. They said, hey, would I be able to see that account on my credit card bill? And it's like, you should see that account on your ID IQ, too. It should be the same across the board.
I am like um, craving some birthday cake. Y'all know how to eat eggs and stuff, so I don't know what's going on. Thank you, exclamation point. I suggest that you try to sue the credit bureaus right now also, period. This way you can stop paying identity IQ every month, period. So when so what I used to tell people is like, hey, we're gonna keep sending these letters every month for about six months or six round of letters. So that could take eight months. So that means every month you pay $21.99. When you go ahead and sue, you don't have to keep paying. We're gonna send in the letters and after they don't respond, the way we want them to respond, we're gonna sue them. We're not playing with them anymore, you guys. We're gonna we're gonna sue them. We're not playing with them anymore. So she says something came up, she can't pay the identity IQ. You could just pay the certified fee um, and did the free trial for one um, did the free trial for the first seven days. We're gonna pull your credit reports again and then cancel. That's it. So basically all you're paying is the twenty one ninety nine plus the fifty dollars. Not fifty dollars, thirty dollars. That way you have to keep paying every month for identity IQ and you'll be able to sue. We need to be able to sue. Stop paying. And if you mad, I'll text you late at night. I'm sorry. But yeah, I want to answer you. I'm going to start going live a little earlier. Somebody got to open our DMI queue up again. She can avoid this by suing. Did you see that we have the option to sue now? Question mark. This will help you stop having to pay identity IQ every month and possibly put money in your pocket, period. Y'all better try, I'm telling you. And my heart got like, what is this? You're welcome, estimation point. Okay, my daughter has someone trying to get, try to do a judgment against her. The judgment is against her for something that she never owed. Um, I'm sorry, I had to send that text message to somebody because I'm not going through my phone. But she never, oh. <laughs> okay, wait, so my daughter, hey, Rikita, my daughter had, had someone who was trying to do a judgment against her. A judgment against her for something that she never, oh. I don't know what to say other than sending it. I would tell her what to do, but then she won't understand it. So, Tell her that she should probably get a lawyer or I can help her possibly get a lawyer, period. If she doesn't want to get a lawyer, then maybe she should go to court and ask them to verify that, that it's actually her. Her, period. She can ask for a validation of debt also to prove that the debt is valid.
Um, what is her court date? What is her court date? Question mark. What is the court date? Okay. Mr. Stark sent us a fifty dollar donation. Thank you. Cash app sent us text messages. I see that. Hey, I haven't seen anything removed in my credit report. What information do I need to try to sue? Let me look. Some people are like I haven't seen anything deleted yet, and it's only in fifteen days. Like wait forty days, y'all. Just wait. <laughs> I'll be like, oh my gosh, y'all, we just started. Like, let's wait. They got 30 days to respond. Then we got to give them time to actually get the letter. So let's just wait a little bit. But in this instance, let's see. I'm actually going to look deeper into her file. Somebody said they paid the fee. Hey, exclamation point. I did get your payment, period. I am going to complete your file today and send out your letter certified tomorrow, period. I will send over your file to the attorneys in about 40 days, period. Yeah, just wait, you guys. Like, you have to wait like 40 days, honestly. You have to wait for your file to go over to the attorney about 40 days. Don't forget, the credit bureaus have 30 days of response, so you have to give them five days to even get the letter. So, that's automatic 35 days. Now, don't forget, we suing. As soon as I see they got the letters from that date, I'm going to start counting 30 days and we're pulling your reports again to see if anything was deleted because it should be deleted at that time. Now, if it's not, that'll be it and that's your lawsuit and then your attorney will let you know what they're going to try to sue for how much they can try to get you back they're going to let you know all those good details but i can't tell you that type of stuff because i'm not an attorney but i can tell you the negative accounts i'm sending over to your attorney because i'm going to send you that in the beginning so i did get your payment i'm going to put your and say bowel instead of bio this computer time messed me up y'all and send your letters certified tomorrow. So yeah, don't get all um, certified letters are going out tomorrow. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm catching up on text messages. I'm so happy, I don't know what to do with myself, oh my God. Um, I'm nine hours in, I'm nine hours in y'all. Nine hours behind. I was five days on that verse. Okay, so 77, 77. I will schedule it for tomorrow. I'm going to schedule this home for him for tomorrow. Schedule the showing for tomorrow, period. Yeah, I'm going to show him that home tomorrow. And then don't forget to, I'm going to stop doing um, showings. I'm going to start doing, stop doing showings. I have um, a realtor that currently getting everything together because we're going to start working together and he's going to do all the showing so i'm going to be right there you guys just call me if you're like kita it's the only got to do i don't know what's going on just call me text me we still gonna be working close together it's just the point i really have to spread my wings and fly uh, i really have to go and do what i really want to do Oh, somebody asked to send, send donations. How do they do it? You can go to leadmemove.com too if you want to see my links for donation. Your next step is to send out your letter certified so that we can sue. Period. She said that somebody just came back uh, rejected, which I guess verified. That's what that means. <laughs> So, only thing that she has to do now is just really try to sue. Like, we, that's a good thing. You know you're going to sue. Like, okay, you reject it. That's fine. 
Because they got to show you how it's true. And they got to show you. And that's, if there's violation on there, they're violating the right thing. They have to delete it. I did not mean to text him that late, but he got a wife. I try not to text you late, but listen. Hey, exclamation point. I suggest that you just keep all of these documents together especially if you are looking to sue period you can then give it to your attorney and he can use them how he sees necessary sees fit <laughs> necessary i need to use the rest y'all uh, as he sees fit So remember, you guys, you guys don't have to, or gals, no one has to send me documents anymore. Well, you guys can go ahead and just keep it. Keep them and keep them for your attorney because eventually, like I said, when I get my money up, it's going to be like $28 per person. I mean, $28 for every, well, no, it's going to be, for every $1,000, I can only help, I'll be able to help 28 people. Let me not say only, but the attorney said he'll reimburse me for that later on down the line. So I just have to come up with a... I want to call about $20,000 so that I can really help a lot of people, especially the people that come to my events. We're going to be just ranking this. We're going to be getting, we're going to be suing it. We're going to be getting this together. The only thing that you have to do is pay the fee to mail your letter certified, period. I will then complete your file and send it over to a lawyer in about 40 days, period. So this client been with me for a while. And what they this what they do is keep selling it, selling it, selling it. And then some accounts, they just don't want to delete. Like, we need to sue. I told them we need to just sue. Like, seriously, let's stop playing with them. Somebody said, hey, I really, I received a letter from Experience saying that I got, I received a suspicious request and they are not opening these schools due to the suspicious activity. Hey, exclamation point. I sent in the welcome video a sample of this letter, period. It is best that we send out your letter certified so that they do not have the right to do something like this and try to store your letters, period. Period. So when you get the, um, if you get this, it's a star letter. Like, is we got a suspicious letter. You ain't no suspicious letter. Answer my dispute. Stop playing with me. <laughs> so when we, when you, when you get that letter from experience, all we're going to do is send out more letters for you. But if we're going to sue, no, it's not a suspicious letter. Answer the disputes. We are going to send out an additional letter for you, period. <sighs> Okay, so hey, hey, Miss Peter. Um, what I have a question on how should I just be? What do you mean when you have a question? How should it? What's it? What's it the letters, the particular collection. Every time I dispute a collection, company charges a dollar and all by about ten, and comes back a day. Then once a few weeks passes, go back to the original for less than a dollar, and then. They basically saying the collection company keep changing it. They keep messing with their credit reports, basically, is what they're saying. And if the collection company is playing games, you need to just get ready to sue. Hey, estimation point, I suggest that you send out the letter.